friends, welcome back to Baho Automation Lab once again. Uh, let's continue with the installation and create a main common project now. So, prerequisites for this uh, installation purpose, we require Java JDK install the Java machine. Okay. So, if you don't know how to install the Java JDK, I will explain you in the short. Okay. So, um, just go open your Google Chrome. For any browser, you can do it and just type like a JDK, Java JDK download. Okay. Java JDK download. And uh, this is the official website for Oracle.com. Go there uh, on this website and uh, these are the releases of uh, Java JDK. Now, current version is uh, JDK 20. JDK 7 in green is also more stable. Uh, if whenever you are watching this video, maybe this version will get changed and uh, you are on the any other latest version. You just simply download this. Uh, JDK file as per your operating system as I am using Windows, so I am going to download from it. Okay, if you you can download installer also, you can download the complete zip file as well and just uh, just like uh, download and uh, extract that file into the one folder. Okay, after extracting this folder uh, Java JDK, you just need to install that Java JDK file uh, Java version in your machine. After that, go to this environmental variable path and uh, set up environmental variable like this java home uh, still your folder like if whenever you install the java in jdk it will uh, inside your program files we have created one version or uh, folder name as a java okay inside our program files let's go to the java folder okay this is the java jdk 11.0.2 installing management so I'll just copy this part and uh, paste it here. Okay. So create a new variable inside this Java underscore Java home and paste that part here. I have already set up, so I'm not going to set up in that part again. In system variable. Also in path variable, set up the path till the bin folder. Java JDK bin folder. For example, here just copy this part and set up Java home in bin path in your folder. Okay, let's do okay okay. After that, go to the CMD and type like a Java. Space underscore version. It should be populated what is version we are how in installing your machine. Okay, the prerequisite is completed. Now let's uh, understand installing Eclipse. So installing Eclipse, we need to go to the official website of Eclipse download. Okay, and then in this official website. On this official website, uh, what do you have to do? Uh, just go to this download packages section. So don't download this entire uh, entire Eclipse. Okay. Just go to this Eclipse ID Java Developer or Java Developer. And as per your operating system, you just download this Eclipse. We not need to install that Eclipse or we not need to like uh, uh, doing installation stuff uh, for the Eclipse. You just extract that Eclipse and we, we, you will got this type of uh, one shortcut is in your folder after after extracting Eclipse folder. Okay, just double click on it. Whenever you double click on it, uh, you will get some workspace. So, for example, I'm double clicking on this Eclipse. Okay, so here you can create a new folder as per your like uh, operating system on C or D drive or otherwise whatever default workspace is here. So just uh, click on the launch button. Whenever you click on the launch button, I have already opened. You are coming on this welcome window. So uh, you simply close this window or, or hide that window. So I have some already in my workspace. We have some project created. So installation of Eclipse, uh, Eclipse and Cucumber plugin. Now we will see how to add the Cucumber plugin in our Eclipse. Now uh, you are ready to work on Cucumber. Okay. So just to install the Cucumber plugin, go to Help Eclipse Marketplace, and uh, here you need to search for Cucumber. It will take us some time whenever you open the Eclipse Marketplace in the first time you are watching or in your Eclipse. So don't worry about that. Just click on that. Okay.
Eclipse uh, marketplace is open. Just search here cucumber. So this is the plugin cucumber uh, plugin which we need to install in our machine. I have already installed it, so I'm not going to install it. Just click on the install button and you, you will get the uh, pop up and everything. Just do the next, 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 and you will install this cucumber plugin in your system. If it, it's asked to restart your Eclipse, you can restart it. So we need to add this plugin uh, to our Eclipse marketplace. Okay. Now let's Understand the next concept. We have installed the Eclipse plugin and Cucumber plugin in Eclipse. Now create a Maven project in Eclipse. How to create a Maven, new Maven project? So I have already explained many times these things, but I am again explaining this simply. So go to the file menu or the create a Maven. Click that Maven project. Okay. Click on the next. After that, just create a sample project. Keep archetype section. We need to click on this. Okay, we have we require the password for the Maven. Uh, like uh, for cucumber purpose, uh, cucumber order for purpose. So just click on this, okay? I have already explained it using default workspace and uh, selecting archetype, but now we are keeping this archetype, right? Because we require a default project structure. Okay, now here we require to set a group ID in attribute ID. So group ID is whatever package name you are given, or attribute ID is whatever project name you are, used, you are given to your project. So I'm creating the project as GDD cucumber. So let's say automation framework. We'll change this later. So simply I'll uh, add this project name as well. We'll change this later. Simply click on the finish. It will take a time and process uh, and create a main project for you with the best structure. Okay, like um, the Cucumber main project. Double click on it to see the project uh, progress of project creation. It, it, it's having the Maven tag, it means it's a Maven project we are creating. Now we have a default project structure here. So source main.java, source main.resources, and whatever actions we are performing, we'll, we'll create that everything in under case.java, whatever common things we require, we will keep it in the resource Java, main Java, and all those packages. Okay, we'll learn step by step what is the meaning of this, uh, all this folder, project, project folder structure. Okay. So simply we have done our second step like the system main project. Now add a Cucumber Maven dependency in Pond.xml. So how to add that uh, dependency? So let's see. First of all, let's open our Pond.xml file. We have keeping our architect uh, type so that uh, it will create a default structure here. Okay. So after this uh, snap, snapshot version, we need to add our Cucumber Maven dependency. So how to add that? So simply go to the Maven repository thing. Again, Maven repository .com. This is the centralized repository to work on the Maven project. Okay, so from the centralized repository, we will uh, download that dependency, uh, add in our uh, project form.xml. So it will download required dependency jars and it will add in our local system or even a lower local project from the centralized repository. Simply search here Cucumber Java. Okay, whenever you search. Uh, it will come with this dependency. So we have input of hooks and we have io.cucumber. So always work with io.cucumber. Don't add this dependency. Okay. So go with cucumber.io. Let's click on this cucumber.io. So this is the 7.13.0 uh, is the latest version of cucumber dependency. Whenever you are searching, maybe uh, when you are watching this video, maybe this is the um, there are lots of versions in here. But whatever later the dependency that time showing, you just you know, just copy that dependency and paste it in here. Inside that we need to create one dependency tag. So let's type dependency. Okay, dependency. Inside that dependency, let's paste this our dependency. Or cucumber Java. Which is the latest version. It will download a uh, related reference library, and here we now say different library. Yes. So we have previously we have only JRE system library. Now we have added our local Maven dependency library. So whatever Cucumber related jars will be added inside this Maven dependency. 
Okay, perfect. So now we have completed our third step, like uh, adding two number maven dependency for the XML file. So create a package name as a form dot demo under SRC test Java. So we have under um, SRC test Java folder here. Okay, we'll create a one package inside this. This name as we are uh, in the learning stage, so I'll create a package name as a demo. Okay, form dot demo. Form is called as a commercial, so always give the name like form dot commercial. So we have completed our created package under that. After that, created demo feature file under form dot demo package. So how to create a um, feature file in Cucumber Bros? So simply right click on this, go to the file, new and create a file. So I'll create a demo uh, file. So we are not going to create a demo, any thing like a demo. We'll create a, some feature file name as ATM. Like ATM transaction. dot feature okay. let's click, click on finish so we have created one feature file inside this okay and it automatically added cucumber tag it means that we have um, uh, successfully created feature file okay so these are the some demo things how to create uh, scenarios and everything in this file so i'll just remove it and we'll put, um, completely build from the scratch so we we'll, uh, require to create a feature file inside uh, our cucumber uh, inside our demo package. Now let's understand. Uh, we have created demo feature file uh, in the package. Okay. Now let's create a feature file here. So how to create a feature? We have already learned what uh, in the theoretical part what is meant by the feature and everything. Okay. So let's feature is the representation of whatever um, steps we are doing. Okay. It's a small representation. So we will add a keyword like a feature. Feature and in this feature. Let's add ATM. Let's say transactions. Transactions. Okay, this is our feature. Now let's add scenario inside this feature. Okay, uh, inside that scenario is withdrawal. Withdraw. Let's say withdraw. Uh, cash from ATM. Let's say ATM. Withdraw cash from ATM. After scenario, let's add some getting keywords. Okay. So let's add given. Given. Uh, let's say I have. An account with balance with a balance fifty thousand. Let's say fifty thousand. Let's say R is fifty thousand. Let's say add uh, like a pin keywords as a pin. Pin I insert ATM card and I insert ATM card and let's say we are using that keywords okay like and when or whatever the things given when and and I enter my pin Enter, enter my pin as say one two three four, okay, and let's say and I select withdraw option. And I enter, I enter, withdraw,
uh, I enter withdraw. amount as 10,000 okay then I should should receive receive RS Ten thousand in cash, okay. And my account should be my account. Uh, let's say balance should be. Should be update, updated to to forty thousand. Okay, so simple uh, feature file we have created where we have feature and then are you see here like a different uh, like highlighters here the color highlighters on feature file we have like feature keyword this one color highlighter for the given rain and, and then this is the identifier like these are the working keywords okay and it's in the simple plain english as we have seen in our uh, theoretical part like it's easy to understand what is the meaning of these things like we have a feature with atm transaction and it generates like withdrawing cash from atm i have an account with a balance of rs fifty thousand, and i insert the atm card i enter my pin as one two three four and i select the withdrawal option I enter withdrawal amount as uh, 10,000 and I should receive the 10,000 in cash. My account balance should uh, should be, okay, my account balance should be updated as a 40,000. So these are the simple plain English and this is the feature file, okay. So we just save it whenever we cre created any feature file in the feature section. Now right click on the feature file and click on the find step definition. If I right click on this uh, feature file and check find step definition so it will not redirect in anywhere because we are not converting this project as a cucumber project but first of all let's run this we require to create a step definition for this so run as cucumber feature so whenever you run this feature file so it simply says that the uh, undefined scenarios we not define this scenarios whatever we are created here so Simply, we have a step definition code is ready here in the console. So we'll create a step definition file here, like a my step definition class, like uh, ATM, ATM step, let's say, okay, ATM step definition. So we have created that step definition class here. Okay, we need to assign this step definition file to whatever steps we have created. Just copy that one from the given keyword and inside insert this inside this class. Okay, now we need to import these keywords. Okay, so these things we not required. The throw declaration, whatever code we required to written here in the cylinder, we can write inside this uh, method. So just remove this whatever thing we have automatically created here okay so our step definition file with that scenarios is ready i have an account with balance rs whatever integer what we require to pass and everything so we'll see this step by step but first of all let's import the given and then install uh, import that thing and let's import that then okay and uh, okay, so let's format this code. First of all, control C, control A, and format. Okay, now we have a, a, like a step definition file is ready. Okay, and uh, now if I run this uh, feature file again, let's see what is the output. Okay, now there is no like uh, undefined errors. So, one scenario is one step is seven, and all those are passed. So these are the steps. So as we are not a not uh, created any code inside this step definitions, but we have a step definitions and we have like a feature file is ready now. 
but whenever i click right click on this and click on the find step definition it's not finding any uh, step definition because we are not converted this code as a cucumber code project uh, this project as a cucumber project so how to convert this in the cucumber project so bd cucumber project go to config configuration and convert it is as a cucumber project okay it's building something It will uh, take a few time, uh, few seconds time to convert that uh, like Maven project into the Cucumber project. Now it's converted. Now if I right click on this file and uh, check find the step definition, it's directly redirecting to this here. Okay. If I paste control on my keyboard and uh, hover on it, it will automatically highlight the things. And if I click on this, it will automatically find the step definition which is implemented for this. Thing. Okay. So guys, I've seen uh, it in this lecture. Uh, from the next lecture, we'll understand this, what is mean by the given, when, and, and all those keywords, okay? And uh, we'll see the practical stuff in the next session, okay? Till time, just do this stuff practically by your side, and uh, let me know if you are in facing any issues, okay? I'll, we'll resolve that, okay? So let me meet in next chapter, till time. Have a great day, bye-bye, take care.